Hey everyone, it's Ellen here. So I guess I better address the big thing that has happened in my life recently. For those of you who don't know, I have left Xbox on. Now when my goodbye video went up last week, the main reaction to it was WHY? So I thought that I would, you know, address that and try and give you a bit more of an idea of what's happening. First off, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who left such nice comments. It means a lot to me that my work means a lot to you. I'm so glad that you enjoy the stuff that I make. It's very flattering to hear all these nice things about the videos I put a lot of work into. It also meant a hell of a lot to see so many many people expressing that they wanted to see me in more videos and they wanted to see me make more stuff. I particularly liked the number of people suggesting that I make my own YouTube channel. Been here since 2010, this channel was how I got the job. But anyway, there has since been a small influx from Xbox on viewers. Hello, welcome to my humble abode over here. Most of the stuff that's been going up recently is kind of like behind the scenes. Me on trips with Xbox on. I've not had as much time as I'd like to to sit and do chatty vlogs, but I do stuff and talk about stuff and sometimes I talk about games. So you can still get gamey things on here until other things happen. But going back to the main question of why, why? basically, Summit came up. I was approached by some people who were like, hey, we like what you make. And I was like, yay, I'm basically gonna be working on another project. I'm not gonna say what in too much detail or give too many clues or hints because I don't really want to point people in the direction of it until it's ready, until I have made it something I can be proud to go, here it is everyone. But yeah, I'm still gonna be in the industry. I'm still gonna be doing the same stuff, but just a bit different if that makes sense. <laughs> in the meantime, I recommend you keep your eyes peeled on my channel here because I can use all the views I can get. Lol, self-deprecating humor. And also follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on there. In fact, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably have seen that I've been keeping myself busy as last week I went to Canada with outside Xbox's Jane because Mike and Andy couldn't go. And they were like, hey, do you wanna come and do some Let's Plays? So keep your eyes peeled on outside Xbox as well as me being special guests playing Gears as a long time outside Xbox subscriber. Pre pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> So basically, cool stuff happening in future, cool stuff happening right now, and I just want to take this moment to say working at Xbox On was an absolute privilege. It was an absolute pleasure working with the people that I got to work with, particularly Graham and Benny. Presenting with them was just so much fun and I want to give a massive shout out to all the guys that work behind the scenes. You will have seen them in various vlogs of mine and they will be in my upcoming Gamescom vlog which I've been editing and there's some particularly bad dancing from them. They'll either love me or hate me for it. <laughs> I've had so much fun working for Xbox On and I'm not leaving it empty handed. I'm leaving with so many amazing memories and the chance to work in this amazing industry. And also I got one of the mic things and everyone wrote nice things on it and it made me cry. <laughs> But yeah, before I go, before I carry on with other things, I have a request of my lovely Xbox On viewers. When I joined, I was taking over from someone who already had an established relationship with the audience who would then have to build a new relationship with me on screen. And I knew that that wasn't going to be easy. I braced myself for the inevitable comments of, oh, I preferred the girl before you because that's what people on the internet are like. My request is that whoever ends up in that presenting role, you make them feel as welcome as possible. I know how daunting it is and I know that a lot of comments go away really quickly as people get used to you, but it would be really nice if the person was made to feel as welcome as possible as soon as possible because it's not a competition. What is a competition is world's hardest achievements and we need to cheer on the new presenter so that they are emboldened and beat Benny. Seriously, someone get that trophy off him because he just won't shut up about it went London then. I'm really annoyed. <sighs> but anyway, I'm going to crash into this thing because I still have jet lag from Canada. I will see you around. Cool stuff's happening. Keep an eye out. Love you loads. Mwah. Oh, the framing was all wrong. Oh well. Oh well.